traditional therapies for high altitude pulmonary edema include a number of drugs, and that would include Diamox, which we've already talked about, typically in higher treatment doses of 250 milligrams twice a day, rather than the smaller preventative dose of 125 milligrams. Back in the olden days, we would often give Ventolin, which is albuterol, a metered dose inhaler typically used for asthma as a bronchodilator. Why would we give that? We'd give it because pulmonary edema has something to do with the lungs, and that drug does something for the lungs. But if you think about it, the mechanism didn't make sense. I mean, here we have a bronchodilator and we're using it for a patient that has fluid in their lungs. Yet it always seemed to work. So it's now known that these drugs that are used for bronchodilation, so-called beta agonists, they actually help to remove or reduce the amount of alveolar water, alveolar fluid. They actually drive water out of the air sacs, the alveoli. So meter dose inhalers can work. And most of the research has been done with the long acting form of these drugs, salmeterol. But if you've got some provental or albuterol on your trip, I would try that as well. Now recently, and when I say recently, not that recently, but in the last uh, five to 10 years, people have been experimenting with so-called phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors, things like Cialis and Viagra. And it turns out that these drugs help to reduce pulmonary hypertension, high pressure in the pulmonary vasculature. And it turns out that high altitude pulmonary edema is virtually always associated with pulmonary hypertension. So if you can reduce these lung pressures, these vascular pressures inside the lung, you can reduce the pulmonary edema fluid formation. Before we used phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors like Cialis and Viagra, we often use calcium channel blockers, and it can, they can still be used. Procardia, for example, can be used 30 milligrams once or twice a day, and that's the 30 milligram extended release. can be used twice a day to treat pulmonary edema.